exhausted everything I like to talk about, but there's still time, so let's talk about it. <laughs> the Black Stars. It's the biggest story in Ghana. I'm trying to avoid it because. Why are you avoiding it? People, you know, I need something to make me happy. And the Black They don't make you happy anymore. Me, it depresses to, to, me. You know why? It's not like, you see, there's everything watching AFCON 2015, Ivory Coast final, we play well and we lose on penalties. Mm. That's bad luck. Or playing against Uruguay and Suarez, that's his thing. Mm. We don't, we, we are. There's no, there's no vim. The spirit in the team is dead. Mm. They are not. I don't know. It's like they don't. It's they, they, it's not. They, they don't need tactical anything. There's no motivation. They are not running. They are not tackling. They are not. You think they lack a bit of desire? You know when you watch an EPL game and Liverpool is playing at home, mm. and then they tackle you. Hey! Then the fans say, "Yeah!" Then ball Boom, big. crunching tackle. Ah, mm. That thing is not in Blasters again. It's like the team. They are passing, they are shining Willy. No, they are not. They are just like, <laughs> they are shining Willy. <laughs> so that's it. It's not, it's not working. And you said the headline that annoyed you was which one? Charlie, you know something? You know the annoying one? They said, you know something? This one, you have to query the online team. You know, the online team. I'll come to that. The online team wrote a story that you need to query them. <laughs> They say they say Ghana in shocking loss to Comoros. <laughs> you, you have to suspend your online editor. Is that Luka Kofi who did that? Ghana in shocking loss. Yeah, the, what are you talking about? This in the now? WhatsApp group, somebody said, "Ah, who was shocked?" Yeah. <laughs> the team that has been the worst part. Now, not too far repeated it in the news this morning. Yeah, but it was shocking loss. <laughs> that, that's, that's why we are discussing. No, no what's happening? It's, it's not shocking. It wasn't shocking. No, but if it's not shocking, why discuss it? Oh, if it's no, normal, no, no, why discuss no, no, it? Because no, 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 Ghanaians no, no, no. are upset. That I means it's not shocking. <laughs> it's shocking. It's I not mean, shocking. We didn't go there thinking that we'll go and lose. It's not shocking. We didn't go there thinking we'll go and lose. That's no, but yesterday, why it's yesterday, yesterday yeah, I, I was thinking, I was banking on a draw. I wasn't banking on a win. Were you shocked when you heard they lost? No, I watched it. Were you shocked? I was disappointed. Yeah, so you can't be shocked. I was disappointed. <laughs> I mean, you I mean, but 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 me, I don't, I don't understand the details, the, the technical things. Yeah, like that you happened. Know. But the defender, you know, <laughs> he was watching Kasim. He just <laughs> watched the thing, uh, like he, he was supervising no, the goal. No, he was thinking about this. One. I can't keep myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that was Opoku. That was Opoku. That was watching. I, I can't keep myself. <laughs> <laughs> Ghana for your second one, Kasa. No, Samuel is gone beyond. They don't, they don't, they don't, they didn't look motivated. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, Maybe we should stop expecting anything from them. No, but you see, it's 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 it's. it's I, I spoke to you other time about how the, we 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 have not built the system up properly hmm. to get to this point. So hmm. it's not a one-off thing. Until we fix those things. We we will struggle to get results. We'll struggle to build the desire you are looking for, mm -hmm. you know, to get outcomes that will make us happy. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because yesterday, honestly speaking, five or six years ago, Ghana versus Comoros. Not even an issue. Not a, not a game. Mm -hmm. You understand? There, there are those who make the point about look, everybody knows how to play football now. There is that. Mm -hmm. But there's also the truth that we've retrogressed mm -hmm. in our football. Yo. So we've those that normally we would find ways of beating, now we can't even find ways to beat them. We can't find the quality to get past them hmm. one way or the other. So it's Commerce versus Ghana is like two evenly matched opponents, which is strange. Charlie. Ghana versus Madagascar, two evenly matched opponents. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> strange. Charlie. We are going to play Central Africa Republic. And we have to even be afraid. Two evenly matched opponents. We have to be more afraid because we have to go and yeah. play against Mali. Mali, we are not at their level at the moment. <laughs> so let's uh, as, as for as for the technical bits in terms of breaking down the game. Okay, mm. let, let me let me start from this. Mm -hmm. um, I I I was not too shocked with Hilton going with Salis and Baba. I spoke about that. Yes. I, I wanted that pairing to start the game. As, as what? As the pivots. As the pivots. Two pivots. Mm -hmm. Because, mm -hmm. yes, the, well, the two central midfielders. Okay. okay. Because we were going up against a Comoros team who had scored four goals in their previous game. And like I had anticipated that they would see a lot of the ball. They beat Central African 2. Yeah, 4-2. Four 4-2, two. Four two, yeah. Mm. And Central African probably drew 1-1 one, one with Mali. So, I was expecting that at least to keep some balance. What I was not expecting, of course, was Andrea, you starting. I again mentioned yesterday, if you were fit, 
I would have him start the game. But if he's not fit, set him somewhere. He doesn't add too much to the team. Um, yesterday, we lacked... The most important thing we lacked was quality in the final mm-hmm. third of the pack. Mm. Either a final pass was overhit, mm-hmm. underhit, players were mistiming runs. Mm-hmm. Those were the things that cost us. Mm. Because we saw, especially in the second half, we saw a lot of the ball. Mm. But the quality openings were not there. And the few ones that we had, Inaki missed a, a glaring header, Semenyo. Very early in the yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. Semenyo also missed a chance. Chances that you would expect players at that level to take. Didn't pan out. And then, of course, we lost out to that brilliant goal from um, the Comoros midfielder. So we come back um, to work at this again. Do we have a different pool of players to pick from at the moment? We could expand the pool. Okay. But the truth is, we don't have a lot of cohesion. The motivation mm-hmm. isn't there. Um, from you don't see the desire. You see, you see players protecting themselves a bit. They don't want to get injured. Yeah, you, you see a bit uh, of that as well. Players not very focused mm. on the assignment. And of course, I spoke about Mr. Hewton and why I am not very happy with him. I'm very, I'm very dissatisfied with his output what at the moment. I, for me, I think that he, him, and his entire technical team misread the profiles of the players they pick. There's a difference between having talent. Mm. There's a difference between knowing the positions. But you must also understand what kind of player this is and what can you do with this player. What do you my, my, my disappointment with him has been, so for instance, it's been one year, he's still struggling with what to do with Kudus. Mm. It's been one year, he's still struggling with what to do in central midfield. Mm. How does the team progress the ball? He's not sure. Who are the players that give him that balance between an offensive motion and a defensive motion. Mm. Who are the teams that give him dominance? Who are the players that he can put on the pack that give him dominance on the ball? Mm -hmm. So he's struggling with fine. It took him a very long time to identify how to play Inyaki, Mm -hmm. for instance, because the structure of Bilbao is very different. Inyaki is not your pinpoint number one. Inyaki is a wide forward. Mm -hmm. If you watch him, he wants the ball into space and at his feet. Inaki is not somebody you cross the ball for to head, even though once in a while it can happen. Mm. But primarily, that is not who he is. That is not his profile. So play him on that. So nine thing in Ghana. Is so right. centre back. So for instance, we we, we saw situations where Alidu mm-hmm. was being played at right back. Alidu is not a progressive right back. He doesn't keep the ball well. Alidu is a short centre back who most of the time plays on the right side of a back three mm. in Clermont. But we play him as a right back completely, so you don't get penetration. Mm. from him so that means that most of the time you are on the defensive because he doesn't put pressure on his opposing player as Mm. much Mm. okay so those are the things that over time mr hilton has not been able to figure out and that tends to impact Mm. on the quality of performances that the team will get okay Mm. so he's called up i think when it comes to call-ups for the past three or four call-ups that he's done, you can't really complain too much. He's called basically 80% of players who can be played. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, how they are called and the backups to them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if Salis is not there or if Partey is not there, who comes in? As a pivot. How many games would that person have played to be integrated into the team? Mm -hmm. So you have a situation where we have a lot of players on the bench Mm -hmm. who have been called five or six times but have never kicked the ball before. So, hmm. again, you figure out where, where... It's hard to figure out how they fit into the team. Mm-hmm. And that is the problem that he seems to have. Technically, he's, he, he, he just doesn't know what, how to figure out the profiles of the players, mm-hmm. place them properly on the pack, and let it go. I'll tell you, um, so when Avram Grant came, mm-hmm. he came very late mm-hmm. the last time. Yes. The one where we went to the final. 2015. 2015. That's the one where he came very late. Yes, right? yes, yes. Yes. But what he did well and helped him, he didn't coach a lot, but he understood the profiles of the players he had. Mm. So, oh, you you will play here because you can do this for me. Mm-hmm. You, you will play here. You can do this for me. Once you have that, you, you are 70 or 80% done with the job. Then the rest is the motivation. The rest mm. is a bit of tactics here and there because the truth is, at the national team level, one, you don't really do a lot of coaching. You have two days max with the players. Unless in tournament settings. The, wow. the, 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 
the, the, the, the thing with national team football is these are the best of the best that you have called. So it's, you're not now going to teach them how to pass the ball, mm. how to shoot. So it's about organizing them, making decisions for them, and then expecting their quality as the best of the best mm -hmm. to then execute for you. Mm. But because he's not been able to figure that out, he's not getting a lot of execution. So Ghana has played Madagascar, mm -hmm. Ghana has played Comoros, and has scored one goal. Terrible. And the other time I spoke to you about how we had played, when we played the US, the US against Ghana in the first half, in the entirety of that game, sorry, had eight shots on target. Ghana under Hilton in the seven games prior to that had put together eight shots. Wow, what you did in one match? Yes, yes. they had done across eight seven, games. seven, eight games. So he, he has struggled to get the team to be very fluid, to get the team to be very cohesive. And that is on him. Mm. I, I cannot blame the GFA for that. Mm. I cannot blame anybody for that. That is on him. Mm. He needs to fit him. That's a technical thing. George Boateng, Masoud Ramani need to figure out how to better organize the players <clears> and make the proper decisions that allow the team to be a bit fluid. The mm -hmm. second one is something that somebody might say is simplistic, mm -hmm. but I spoke about this the last time I spoke to you. Look, mm -hmm. when you want a team to understand what it means to be motivated, mm -hmm. I saw the team train in Kumasi a bit. Uh, the supporters went there. Uh, they allowed a couple of influencers to get on the path. So I saw Yao Dabo. They blocked the Bad. Those are not the people that motivate the Black Stars. Mm -hmm. You see? A national team reflects the mood, the character of the country. Mm -hmm. you see? So when people are, the country is upset, the national team should immediately understand that the country is upset. Mm. You do not create a bubble and put them inside, and put them inside okay. it and think that everybody, everything is good. Mm. For years, we used to have that. When they don't perform well and they come, they will understand that the country is not very happy. Mm -hmm. It will reflect in, in their, next match. their next match. You will see anger. So you will see desire. Yeah, you will see that emotion yeah, they come can, from they, them. They could feel the Ghanaian frustration. Yes, the Ghanaians have... These boys don't understand don't how frustrated Ghanaian supporters are. I, I don't even think they care. No, because they don't. They, 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 there isn't a lot of closeness they've been with them. They've, they, been, they've, been, they've been shielded cocooned. and cocooned from the average Ghana fan. Mm. Okay, and that's what I'm saying. This takes time. So somebody will say, "Oh, are you saying that the supporters should beat them?" I'm not saying, "No, no, 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 no." no. That's not what I'm advocating for. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying that when the national, we we should have a system where mm -hmm. the national team trains a bit closer to the people. Okay. Okay. So, uh, so people can watch the training sessions. Let them understand. You mm. see, when you, 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 when the players train, they hear the comments. Oh. Mm -hmm. They hear the comments. The conversations people are having because it's very open. Even mm -hmm. at the stadium, when you across the stadium, uh, Bernard, when you are on the park playing football, and I sit at the VIP and I pass a comment about you, you hear it. But don't you think the officials will say, ah, globally, some of these teams when they do training, they don't even allow people to come and watch. No, 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 when no. They go into camps and things. No, but this is not. This is not that kind. Of camp, you see, and that's again. I'm saying it's a it's a build up mm -hmm. to it. You will get to that point where your some of your training sessions are closed because you are saying people are watching you. But the point is this, Bernard. Mm -hmm. When you watch the way Ghana plays, what exactly <laughs> do you think is happening at the training grounds? Nothing serious. <laughs> what exact what sophisticated thing is happening at the training grounds? Mm. So far, nothing. Mm. Okay, mm. those the, the things that change games happen in video analysis. Yeah, so it's not like anybody's coming to even spy on you. It's, it's if they have access to your video analysis, yeah, huh. then they will finish you because they know how you've organized the team. Um, I sat on a plane with the Black Stars when Avram Grant and Gerald Noose were plotting a semi-final Afcon game. Yeah, I think the that quarter was final. The quarter final. With Guinea. With Guinea. Bernard. From where we were on the plane, it was on the laptop. Okay, we'll do this. They ran simulations of it wow. to see whether it will work. So once it worked there, or whether it worked, I don't know. But I was watching them do it. You were not surprised at the outcome of the game. I was not surprised we won because you could see what they were doing. Mm -hmm. Then later on, they showed it at video analysis, implemented a few things. But the point, that's why I made the point about at the level where you have Black Stars players, once he shows those things to them, they understand. They are supposed to assimilate no, it quickly yeah. because this is these are the best of the best. They operate at the topmost level, but we don't have that. So if we don't fix that, 
we are going to have a big problem. The last point I will make, Bernard, mm -hmm. unlike most periods, mm -hmm. we have a national team where most of the elements that make up the national team did not play junior football together. Mm. So the cohesion is tough. Cohesion is very tough. Why is that so? You no, know, because we've we've lost the quality here. So the progress up has been difficult. So it's now people are coming from right to dream. Yeah. They uh -huh. are not coming from the starlets. The starlets. So I'll give you. So the biggest one we have now is Isaku Fatal mm -hmm. from the system. And the team, the players around Isaku Fatal. They are all not in the national. They are not team. there. So his batch of national team players who would come together are not there. Mm -hmm. So if you call when Andre went, Andre went with like five or six. Azimabedu was there. It was like a whole battalion. So they knew what to do. They knew what to do. They, they had gone through. They're, imagine they're batting Asian time. The same thing. Could you ask someone? These are people who slept in the same dorm so room. So they know what his movement. So if a Samoan is getting... He doesn't even Kujasama, need to talk. He knows what to do. He doesn't even need to talk. So that cohesion is lost. Uh -huh. That's a very important point. And point. that is why we are struggling with a lot of these teams like mm -hmm. Comoros, for instance. Because mm -hmm. Comoros has been a very bad national team for a very long time. And Guess who the players who played in that bad national team were? These ones. Uh, so they know each other very well. They've been together for 10 years, 15 years, in the abyss. So they can close their eyes and pass the ball to this person and now they've become good. So they are reaping the benefits of having spent so many years being together. At the moment, th those things used to make up for the short training periods. Mm -hmm. So for instance, you have an Asian and a Muntari who will show up. They have only two days to train. But hey, they spent six years or five years of their lives training together at Liberty Professionals. Right? So they know each other. Very well. It's not just about the blacks, the two days training, or the fact that they play at two different clubs. I remember the AFCON 2008, the first game we, we didn't do where we drew. Which one? 2008. Yes. We beat we beat Guinea. Guinea that one day. Two one. That was two one. Game actually. where Italy and did a routine. Uh -huh. yes, the freak against Morocco. Morocco. I remember. Morocco. And they were basically saying that the, the Ghanaian fans' frustration. So they decided to have a meeting and decided that they were going to do this. Type Those of things. Thing. And the two of them, it wasn't a coach matter. Mm. They and did that move and so that lack mm. of progress is mm. what is killing us a lot more than even the tactics. You see, because that would help augment the coach because then they know each other. But now... Then so, this is beyond Chris Hilton. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, that eventually he ends up at the deterioration of our football because I'll give you a situation. Yesterday, this was our starting lineup. Richard Ofori, former so, War yeah. All-Stars. Mm -hmm. no, you hold on, former War All-Stars. <laughs> then you had Dennis Nicolas Kupuku. Okay. You had Dennis Odoi. Bruga. You had, yes, Formally. Gideon Mensah. Then you had Kasim. No. Mm -hmm. That back five have not played together at any level to before. Outside of the Black Stars. Really? That back five. Mm. Let's go to midfield. We played uh, Baba Idrisu then and Salis. Salis. They have not played at 17. They have not played at 15. Mm. They have not played at any level. apart Until six months ago, they were strangers to each other. Wow. <clears throat> We played uh, Andre, Inyaki. Jordan, Inyaki, Semenyo. Ba, Andre, and Jordan. Inyaki, Semenyo. Have not played. Have not, where? Six months ago, so there's they, no were they were strangers to each other. There's no cohesion. Andre went out. Kudus came in. Again, that setup. Outside of a year ago, mm. who would he have played with? Mm. Okay. Then Nyama came on. And Nyama came on. He would have played with Kudus. At North Island. At North Island. Different sides of the pitch. So at least... Maybe the, we should build a team around Kudus and Nyama's generation. Are there players around who grew up with them? No, but the point is that you, you need a core who would have competed at youth level. It's have not that. happening. So I'll give you a typical example. So in 20, we played the under-17 Wafu qualifiers in Ghana. Mm -hmm. I think the one that was held in Cape Coast. Mm -hmm. Three yeah. or four years ago, the one that Madu Dems organized yeah. in Cape Coast. Mm -hmm. Right? Fast forward now. Mm -hmm. Check the under-20 squad now. Mm. Who plays in it from that squad? We, either the players don't make it, they are not good enough, something happens. So we don't get that progress. Now, the Bokinabe team mm -hmm. that played in that tournament, and I followed that tournament closely, mm -hmm. and the Nigerian team, because I tried to take some boys from Nigeria, <laughs> six of them, Playing the current 20s of their team. So they are moving up. So they are moving up. Yeah. Six. 
It means by next three years, they'll be in the national team. So if they're in the national, if, let's say, even four make it to the national team, they are the core. Yes. That's the core they're... of players who would have been together from the age of 15 years. That's very serious. That is, you that's cannot buy serious. that. That's very serious. Yeah. You cannot buy that. Now, our lack of that currently affects us a lot. How did we get here? Poor planning. Poor planning. So, once in a while, the Black Stars will win games. But so this guy's not going to get better anytime soon. No, we, we, we will not be, get better until we fix. And the countries who are improving... Oh, so you're not winning the AFCON. We could. Tournament football is different. I always say tournament football. A lot of things come in to tournament football. Luck plays a role. You know, the, the lack of the draw, just teams clicking, mm. happens. So, we could win the AFCON. I, I would never say Ghana cannot win the AFCON. Mm. Okay? But we need sustainable growth. We need sustainable wins. Those things will not happen by accident. We need to fix the grassroots. That's why we are always asking for pitches. Better coaches, mm. better players, keeping an eye on those things. Uh, when people talk about influence, mm-hmm. influencing collapse, mm-hmm. the influence of the collapse, they should not be angry at influence of collapse at the Black Stars level. It starts at the junior level. They should be worried by collapse, by the influence collapse at 15 level, at 17 level. Mm. Do you know why? Because the poor quality of the players who get sent there means that what? we will never have good players progressing through because the good players get sacrificed mm-hmm. for those players. And that's where the corruption is. And that, the, so the, that's where we, pay, we end up paying the price of the corruption at 15 level, <laughs> 17 level, 20 level at the Black Stars because you have a whole squad you will have 23 players in a generation, none of whom will make it. Oh my God. This is depressing. <laughs>